going on everyone this is austin welcome to the second industrial designer sketch over today we're going to be looking at a really cool design by sammy d who sent this in to me from instagram uh, we're going to start off kind of warping this uh, basketball shoe just a little bit so that it looks a little flatter try to get the proportions so that they're just a little more clear and easy to read I'm gonna try to exaggerate it just a little bit, but not too much. And then once we get there, um, we're really gonna be focusing today on a very quick Photoshop technique. Not necessarily gonna be the cleanest, um, but you could get something like this done pretty quickly, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. I'm starting off just lowering the opacity on Sammy's sketch so that I can see it underneath. And then with a, a soft, Photoshop brush going in and uh, doing another sketch over on the top layer. So I wanted to also just put another reference image up there in the top so that when I lower the opacity I can still see it and remain true to the design that Sammy intended. I'm gonna make a few little changes here and there uh, just to try to add a little more dynamicism to the design. So I'm making sure that there's not quite as many parallel lines. And then trying to determine what the overall story of the shoe is. And by that I mean kind of what's the focal point, what's that main shape that is really uh, making this a unique design. And I felt that it was the uh, piece on the upper that was sort of going at a 45 degree angle. So I started making a lot of the lines flow in that direction. Kind of starting off just mapping out the overall shapes and then going in with the details. So here you can see the midsole uh, kind of top edge, uh, which will have a highlight near the end of this video. Then trying to refine some of the forms and the shapes on that midsole. And going in with a little bit of the rubber, designing that out and then making it sh uh, an overall shape so that it flows a little bit better with the overall design. Then I thought it'd be kind of cool to put in these molding details, kind of like a foam posit shoe from Nike, just to further exaggerate that story going on in the upper. Then a good little trick is to uh, rotate the canvas often and flip it, mirror it, so that you can see it from a different perspective. Sometimes you pick up that you put in the wrong shapes or you put in the wrong uh, proportions. And by flipping and mirroring that canvas, you can tell where to change it. So here I am warping it again. So I'm gonna do a quick soft brush shading over the upper and then really lightly put in a core shadow and an underneath shadow so that it looks like the upper material is wrapping under the midsole. Then I'm just gonna go in with a hard brush and erase out all the bits of the shading that I don't want. After that, I put a layer underneath that shading layer so that I can put in a light shade on the midsole. And those little shadows on the edges are just showing the uh, midsole kind of curving around the rear and the front portion of the shoe. It doesn't necessarily have to be 100% realistic, but at least it shows that the material is curving. Then further defining that undercut shadow using a combination of soft brushes and hard erasers. Mm -hmm. 
On the upper, I wanted the booty and some of the uh, overall shapes to read a little bit darker, just so you could call out a little bit more of that story. So again, that's just a soft brush and a hard eraser. So here's where I start to further define the molded elements on the upper. Then following that, I'm going to make sure that it reads like a molded element by putting a highlight there as well, just on the other side of that molded edge. So I'm gonna add a darker background just so the midsole starts to pop out a little bit more. We get a little bit more interest. And here I'm just erasing out that gray background so that the midsole is gonna come out a little bit more. Contrast is the key element here. Thought it'd be really interesting to add a few elements that were colored as well. So just subtle little hints of color that would be popped in a lot of the detailing that calls out to the story. I felt in general like the upper was fading out a little bit because there wasn't enough contrast between the background and the upper material itself. So I'm trying to add a little bit of highlighting so that it comes out a little bit more and again highlighting to the top edge of the midsole. Further defining some of the upper materials and showing the edges of them by popping them out with highlights as well. Then further adding contrast, giving a little shadow to some of the materials that would be wrapping underneath others. Just giving a little bit of a darker edge. And this sometimes helps the shoe feel a little bit like it's more grounded little bit more stable, but it also just shows that there's material wrapping underneath, so that edge is gonna be a little bit darker. I'm also darkening some of the elements in that further call out to the story elements. Um, any shape that is just really emphasizing that story. Just adding a few detailing pieces, uh, like the stitching and some of the upper materials and a few more highlights. Then towards the background, adding a little bit of white so that there's more contrast between the upper and that background color. These are some overlay layers thrown on top so that I could add a little bit more contrast to the upper. I would argue still at this point that there wasn't quite enough contrast in the upper materials to differentiate them uh, or to call it out from the background. So I would emphasize adding a little bit more contrast. Here I'm trying to do that by adding a highlighting uh, stroke over the top, just kind of a sketchy element. Then some kind of sketch lines going over the top of the molded elements as well. So here we took Sammy's design and emphasized it a little bit more. And I hope you've enjoyed it. 
look forward to the next video. Thanks, Sammy.